Hi, uh, welcome to another episode of Identity in 15, powered by W0 Identity Server. In today's session, I will be discussing how you can host your Identity Service login portal in an external server. Before moving on, let me introduce myself. I'm Imal Shah and I'm a software engineer at WS2 Identity and Access Management team. Let's start off by speaking a bit about the authentication portal. It is basically a, a web application that um, generally contains all the authentication related pages. By default, this authentication portal uh, uh, or as you simply call it, the login portal is hosted inside our identity servers on Tomcat server and is available uh, in this authentication endpoint with the base URL. But based on your own requirements such as customizing the login pages uh, to suit your own companies, teams, brand teams, then you can customize this portal and host it in your own server. We do have a previous episode done on branding the login portal. I have added the link uh, down in the description below. So you can go and check it out if you're interested. And uh, also we are hoping to do a session on customizing the login portal layout real soon. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, and what I wanted to say was if you are trying to customize this login portal this way, uh, then being able to host it in your own server would come in handy. So let me take you through the very basic steps that you need to follow to do so. First off, you need to copy this login portal from the IS to your external server. Then there are a few configurations that you need to do before deploying it. And uh, finally, you can change the IS server's deployment terminal uh, and start your uh, start your identity server. So that's it. Um, so let's start out with our demo. And before starting, we uh, need to have this WSO2 identity server in your local environment and an external server where you can host your login partner. So in this demonstration, I will be using the WSO2 identity server 610 distribution pack and uh, as the external server, I will be using a token server. So finally, you will also need the setup authentication endpoint bash script. So you can find it here in this sample size repo. I have linked that in the description. So you can go into the sample size repo and uh, download this setup authentication endpoint uh, bash script because you will be needing this to copy the web app from the IS to your Tomcat. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's start with our demo. So in this demonstration, I will be mainly following out this Medium uh, article that I have written earlier. Uh, so you can also check this out. I have uh, added all these links in the description. Uh, this contains um, some uh, descriptive instructions on how to uh, externalize the portals, but you can also check out our official documentation at the identity server documentation where you have all the uh, steps summarized uh, when you are trying to host this externally. So that's it. Let's start out with our demonstration. So in my local machine, I have this uh, IS610 pack and an Apache Tomcat 9 uh, server. So first off, I'll uh, open a terminal here uh, where I have the setup authentication bash script and run it like this. So what this bash script basically do, uh, does is uh, it will copy the uh, login portal from the IS installation that we provide here. So I will provide uh, this pack I have here. And then uh, it will paste it inside the external web, uh, web servers, web apps folder. Uh, so here we should provide our external servers, web apps folders, file path. So it will copy it from our IS server into this location that we provide. And then afterwards, 
we simply can't just copy this ourselves because our uh, locking partner relies on certain IES dependencies. So we will have to add them as well if we are trying to separately host it from the IES. So everything will be taken care of by this uh, bash script. So you simply have to run it. And if you check the web apps folder, then you can find it being added here. Uh, so after running this script, it will also uh, print out the instructions that you need to follow after running it. So for the ease of demonstration, I will follow the steps uh, that I have listed down in this article. So after running this, the next step would be to edit the web.xml file that uh, of the authentication portal that we have copied. So here we need to add these uh, context parameters in this authentication endpoint within web.xml file. So here we already have uh, certain configurations commented out for uh, ease, but I'll just, uh, you can either uncomment them or uh, just copy and paste it straight away. So here what we uh, do is we are uh, telling our web application where to find these item server endpoints that are needed uh, during authentication. So for example, uh, during authentication when the uh, login portal needs to redirect into the uh, item server's endpoint context URL, then it will uh, pick that URL from here. So make sure to provide the correct uh, uh, URLs of your own identity server that you'll be running this portal with. So after updating it, the next would be to update this, this endpoint config.properties file. So here also we need to change this with our identity server's origin URL. So I will go to classes and uh, open this endpoint config file. And here uh, we need to change this to our identity service URL. And the next will be to uncomment this line in the recovery endpoint config.properties file. So here I open it and uncomment. Here also we are pointing to the context URL of our identity server. And that's it. Uh, but there are a few additional steps we need to configure if we are to enable HTTPS port uh, for our uh, login portal. In that case, you will need to create a key store and a trust store for your Tomcat server where you will be deploying that. Uh, so you can find uh, more details on how you can import and export certificates uh, to and from these key stores. So what you need to do is create a key store and trust store for your Tomcat and um, uh, import the identity service public certificate into your Tomcat service trust store and vice versa. Uh, import your Tomcat service uh, public certificate to the identity service trust store. So for this demonstration, I won't be creating new key stores. Uh, I'll be simply using the identity service uh, key store and trust store because uh, I'm just uh, demoing this in the same local machine. But make sure you can try this uh, out just for testing purposes, but make sure to have a proper key store and a trust store configured if you are using this for commercial purposes. So I will go to my identity server. Uh, and here in repository resources security folder, I have the key store and trust store. So I'll copy this out and add it to my Tomcat servers con folder. Um, and then uh, the next step would be to enable the HTTPS connector in our Tomcat server server.xml. So let's go into conf server.xml. Here we need to add that connector config like this. So here after adding that, we need to set the proper key store file path. So I will. Uh, get the file path of this uh, and add it to my uh, to this place. Yeah, 
that's it. So the same would be here. And uh, make sure to update your uh, password as well. You need to provide the correct passwords of your Keystone Trust Store here. And uh, then the next step would be to add these job options to your Catalina SH file. So let's go to Beam Catalina.sh and let's add these here. Here also we need to provide the uh, correct Keystone and Trusto path. Um, yeah, sorry, I will just copy it from here. And uh, add it here. Uh, again, make sure to change the password uh, correctly. And finally, we need to add these uh, key store, trust store location to this endpoint config dot properties file that we edited earlier. Here also we have this place. Uh, yeah, after updating it, um, then that's it. We can restart our Tomcat server to deploy our new uh, login portal. So I will go into uh, yeah, open a terminal inside my Tomcat service bin folder and restart it. Um, then lastly, what we need to do is edit our deployment terminal file. So let's uh, copy this out. And uh, we have our deployment terminal here at repository conf. Um, deployment terminal. So let's uh, add these configs like this. Here, what we do is we are adding the uh, URLs, so pointing to our external authentication endpoint. So if we don't add this, then during authentication, the IDID server will look at the default authentication endpoint. That means localhost 9443 uh, authentication endpoint to authenticate our request. But uh, by adding here like this, by providing the uh, external servers authentication endpoint, then this way that login URL will be overridden by the config that we added. Uh, so uh, during authentication, uh, the request will be redirected into this. Uh, that means our external login portal. And also here I have added cause configs so that uh, our new URL won't be blocked by cause. Here I have added the HTTPS 8 property and the 8080 port. Uh, and now we can restart our identity server. So Whenever we try to access an application like the console, my account, or any other application that we have configured in our itinic server, then first it will try to authenticate our request by uh, prompting us the login page. Since we have added the configs uh, in our deployment terminal, so whenever we try to access the console or my account, then uh, we will be prompted with the login page of from uh, our external login portal. So let's try that out with the browser. So I'm accessing the console app. And as you can see, this login page, now uh, the URL is 8443, that means our external login portal. So uh, I will try to log in with admin admin username password. And we can see that we are successfully authenticated by our external login portal. So that's it. Uh, so it's pretty simple. You can try this out. Uh, and if you face any problems or if you have any doubt, please feel free to reach us out. Uh, our community channels are available and uh, they are linked down in the description. So if there is any concern you have, our team will be happy to help you out. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for joining this session. and. Uh, Please stay tuned for more episodes coming from my DJ15. Thank you.